So hello. hello. So we here at the Iron Tech Con. So who are you? So I'm Kalpesh from Open Silicon. Yeah. Yeah. So um, what what do you do? So we at Open Silicon do everything from concept to silicon. Okay. So here we are trying to demo the 2.5D technology. So what is that? So we named this project as Avatar. The 2.5D technology here, the two dies sitting on the interposer. Okay. The die is uh, dual core A9 with a CPU subsystem and a DDR interface. Uh, running at 1 gig. The interposer is 500 megahertz, 64 bit wide, a full duplex and two channels. So what's special about, uh, what does it mean to do uh, this? What, what is two, what is that? What is, what is it for? Yeah, so, so this is for, say, you want to reduce your cost, you have done some design, you, have, you already have uh, a dial with your CPU subsystem, why do you need to design it again? Just uh, use that for your next step and reduce the cost, faster time to market. So, uh, is this what is this chip? Is this uh, real? It is. It is real, but it's a test chip. Test chip for uh, uh, to prove the technology. To prove the technology. Yeah. So, 2.5 D interposer. What is? Yeah. What does that mean? So uh, that is a uh, passive silicon on which the dies have been uh, sitting. Okay. So, uh, so we take two non good die. You take two what, sorry? <laughs> non good die. Non good. Known. Known. Known good die. Yeah. So it could be like an ARM Cortex processor, it could be some other memory interface, or maybe an entire custom video controller or something else. So we are taking those two, yeah. and you have already made them. And now, rather than integrating again, making a bigger SOC, we are saying we could just take this passive multi layer metal and then integrate this on top of it. So it's not three-dimensional, you're not stacking like memory, like Micron does with three dimensions, but you're doing two and a half D, which is 2D for the actual dies, and this half, because now we are putting this interposer, which is just a narrow layer of uh, metals that are used to interconnect these two parts. So this reduces time to market drastically for customers. So is this your com is this your technology? Uh, it's in 300 plus designs, 85 million units shipped. Is this what you're talking about? Mm, those are everything that Open Silicon does, not just two and a half D. In addition to that, now we have come up with this new technology for two and a half D and moving towards 3D in future, so that so we can stack. Stack. Yeah, in future. We'll so Open Silicon, can you explain what does what does Open Silicon do? Is it open source silicon or it no? No, we are a turnkey company that does uh, designs for anybody that needs silicon solutions. So they may give us either a concept or a spec, and from there we deliver the actual silicon to them. So they themselves do not have the ability to build an entire complex chip, but they may want to for any application, networking, signal processing, cameras, anything they want to do. And then we build the entire so thing for them. I gotta tell you about it. Nice. Right, How old is Open Silicon? So I was doing, I was doing Ten plus years. Ten plus? Yeah. And so what are we showing over there? What is this? Yeah. We're showing different IPs. That is the 2.5D. Then we yeah. have the HMC IP, the Certus. And we're trying to show that we can do anything from spec to boot. Uh, so right from specification, right to your boot, to your chip production. Samples. So what is this one? So this one is a demo proving the the communication between the two dies over the interposer. Oh really? All right. So uh, so how big is Open Silicon? Three hundred plus employees. Where? All over the globe. And headquarters uh, is here in Milpitas. 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 And uh, what's going to happen in the future? Is there a roadmap or is there something announced? Uh, there's a bunch of things happening already. Yeah. Right. So we are trying to do bigger and more complex SOCs for uh, customers. And then the, one of the new technologies, for instance, we are coming up with is the hybrid micro, hybrid memory cube, uh, HMC. HMC? 
HMC is the Hybrid Memory Cube, yeah. Yeah. which is another new IP that we are building, and that will be the next gen memory technology. So today we have DDRs, so in future we will have memory that is stacked. Okay. And this is a memory that's very recently been standardized. Like POP? No, it's nothing to do with that. Uh, yeah, not quite. Okay. So memory itself is being stacked, and then that can that can be used to increase uh, bandwidth to like 160 to 240 gigabytes per second or greater. So, so uh, that's another IP. That are these technologies uh, proprietary to Open Silicon? Own yeah, these this are, the designs, these or is there? These are proprietary to Open Silicon. These are things that we are uh, working with partners and working by ourselves in this case to to help customers go reach uh, boot stage very quickly. So what do you do here at ArmTechCon? Do you talk with potential with customers or? Yes, yeah. potential customers who have come and talked. We've also talked to potential IP vendors who may be interested in using us, use their IP in our yeah. silicon. All right, so thanks a lot. And all of this, all of what Open Silicon does is all ARM? Uh, not necessarily. We do other things too, but a lot of customers ask for ARM. So mostly is ARM? When you say uh, 85 million units shipped, what is it mostly? So we have different, uh, like MIPS, we have worked on MIPS, Trimedia, we have different cores that we have worked different on. Different cores are there. Yeah. Okay. ARM is one of the cores. Yeah. Okay. Is it the best? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> no? Our customers can answer.